Hello Aquarius, welcome to Faith Connection 777. This is going to be a general reading for you guys for the month of July 2020. And um, basically how this reading is going to work is I'm going to pull a couple of tea leaf cards just to get, get an idea of some of the main situations happening with you right now. And then we'll do a recent past, current energy, and immediate future with the tarot. And then we'll end it with a couple of oracle cards, okay? Uh, keep in mind that these messages are general. They may or may not resonate for you. So just keep that in mind. Um, reading lots of different situations, energies, people. And so um, <clears throat> just keep that in mind as, we're, as we go along here, okay? This reading may be for you or it may not be for you. If it is, please like, share, and subscribe, okay? I appreciate all of your support. This is a new channel for me, so it means a lot. Okay, let's pull a couple of tea leaf cards for you, Aquarius. The Aquarius 2020, July 2020. Oh, you've got something coming up in February or something that happened in February. But let's get two more. Frying, <clears throat> excuse me, frying pan troubles or accusations. All right, Ooh, wishbone. A wish is granted. Very nice. Okay. February frying pan wishbone. February, some kind of trouble or accusations that happened in February. A wish is granted. Okay. Um, I feel guided to pull a couple of these. Okay, I am gonna butcher this deck. They're called Fendis Lice Kipper cards. <laughs> okay, uh, these are just gonna give me a little bit more insight into perhaps developing a story here for you. Let's see what we got here. An official person, some kind of judge or um, either like a police officer, a judge, or some kind of person in, with an official title, either in the military or government. <clears throat> okay, let's see what else we got. Pull two more here. Something to do with your community, perhaps relying on support from your community or helping your community in some way. Oh, 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 I'm not gonna pull all these. Journey. You're on a journey here, and I mean, we're all on a journey here. So, um, with the number 10, could this be the end of some kind of journey? Interesting. These are new cards for me, so I'm really interested in, in looking at some of the imagery on here. Are you being called to help your community in some way? Okay, now let's pull the tarot and we'll get some more insight on what's happening here for you, Aquarius. Okay, let's see what we've got. This is the Wild Unknown Tarot. Links to all of the decks are in the description box below. Also, check out my website. It's new. I'm still working on it, but um, I'm going to start building content over there. Okay, Son of Cups, Recent Past, which is basically like the Knight of Cups. Someone pursuing you or you pursuing them romantically, either in love or... Uh, family situation. We got the two of cups in the recent past. Perhaps you got married or some kind of union between two people here. Partnership could be. Then we got the two of pentacles. A choice to make, a major choice to make in your life that you are juggling or just trying to figure out what to do. You got a lot of twos here. Two, two, two with this 
February, the, the month of February is two, and then we've got this two, two, two with this professional, or professional, official person, and then we've got the two of cups, and we've got the two of pentacles here. Let's do current energy for Aquarius, July 2020. <clears throat> we've got the daughter of wands, which is basically like the page of wands. Current energy for Aquarius, July 2020. Okay, Three of Cups. Mother of Cups, which is like the Queen of Cups. Love it for you, Aquarius. And then we've got the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, a slow moving energy. It it feels like you're bonding with community. You got the Three of Cups here, some friendships going on. Um, you're very nurturing here. Um, another current energy for Aquarius, July 2020. This one right here. The Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. Uh, this is like, yeah, family and community gathering. Here we are. This currently is the July 4th weekend. Perhaps this is what's happening with you right now. It doesn't have to be. This reading is for July. So whenever you are drawn to read this, or read this, when you, whenever you're drawn to watch this video is when you're supposed to see it. So it feels like there's community, friendship, family, um, <clears throat> contentment. Feels very chill. I love it. There's some, there's some celebration happening. Let's do immediate future for Aquarius, July 2020. We got the Mother of Wands, which is like the Queen of Wands. Some kind of, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll clarify what that is. Maybe two, a couple different things. Then we've got the Two of Wands. Feels like you're, you're trying to make things happen in your life, moving things forward. Things may have been a little bit stagnant. Um, Feels like you're wishing for something in your future here. We'll get we'll get more into it. Immediate future for Aquarius. We got the Five of Cups. Um, you know, accus trouble and accusations. Okay, and um, then we have the Five of Cups. Some kind of depressing feelings happening. We'll clarify though. Okay, so immediate future, we got the father of wands, which is like the king of wands. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Uh, then we have the eight of wands. Interesting, lots of wands. You have the eight of wands here. So it feels like there's like well, well, we'll clarify. You're wanting a different outcome in your life. You're trying to manifest, manifest something. Uh, you've got strong, passionate energy towards making something happen in your immediate future here. Um, and it, it, you might be in, you know, coming up in the future, you may have a little bump in the road here with somebody accusing you of something is what it looks like. But then you have this kind of feeling depressed, but but also strong manifestation energy where you're going to make things happen for yourself. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the five of wands. Okay, so let's get into this a little bit more. I'm going to use the light seers deck to clarify some of this. Okay, let's see here. Recent past, the son of cups, basically the knight of cups. Spirit, what is the Son of Cups about? Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. Um, some kind of transformation happening in a relationship, either in your family or perhaps. What's this Two of Cups about, Spirit? What's Two of Cups about? 
<laughs> Knight of Cups, the same one we just had before. You're pursuing a relationship with somebody or you're pursuing something. Or you did pursue something, my bad. What's this Two of Pentacles about, Spirit? I feel like there's some kind of... Perhaps feeling the support of a relationship. King of Cups. Feels like there's happiness and contentment in your partnership with someone. Um, and then, you know, you have the Page of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. It seems like there's a lot of happiness and security currently with your friend group, your family, your, in your relationship too. Spirit, help me clarify this current energy. Oh, oh, dropped it. Ace of Swords. Some kind of mental clarity happening, an aha moment of some kind happening um, in your life. It's crystal clear what you want here. Um, let's get into your immediate future with Mother of Wands, or Queen of Wands, Two of Wands. What is this Queen of Wands and this Two of Wands about, Spirit? Looking for a new adventure or setting out to make things better for your life uh, is what it looks like. You're on the journey here, of course, um, but it looks like you're definitely wanting to carve a path for yourself towards something. What is this about, Spirit? What is this about? Ace of Cups. Some kind of new either job offer coming in or a relationship coming in. You're trying to either change a situation in your life, you're trying to move towards happier days. Um, because you have this five of cups here, which is like this feeling depressed over a breakup of some kind, or, you know, it's like recent past, we had everything looking up, and then we had this five of cups. Spirit, what is this five of cups about? Whatever it is, you're doing something to change it because you're manifesting all over the place. Mm. You may be disappointed about the person you're with, your relationship. Is this a relationship or a job situation? Sorry. We're trying to get to your Ten of Cups here trying to get to your happily ever after here. Um, either you're thinking that this was going to be a happily ever after and you're just trying to make things better in either your family situation. There's some kind of tower moment that's going to happen for you, okay? It's going to be a little bit dramatic. Um, Spirit, tell me more about this tower moment in the immediate future. It, it might be in relation to these um, accusations, page of wands. It, it, somebody accusing you of cheating or partying with somebody who's younger or flirting. <sighs> or you may be tempted by this person. There's heartbreak here, there's a three of swords. So there's some, gonna be some kind of heartbreak where either you're gonna find somebody playing around or you're playing around or something's happening here. Or you're not playing around and somebody accuses you of playing around. Um, Spirit, help me decipher what's happening here. Six of Cups. I feel like this situation is gonna challenge you to challenge your maturity. You definitely have drive to resolve whatever this is and it's helping you it's really testing you you're cool basically and you keep it cool it's gonna break your heart 
Uh, something's heart, somebody's heartbroken here. Spirit, tell me more about this situation. It feels like you're hoping for resolution. You have the judgment card. There's some, and this might be what this official person is about. You have judgment and you have this official person. There's some kind of, um, something that is going to set you free in this situation that's going to clear, clear your name or clarify it or bring to resolution. Possibly through the court system is what I'm sensing here. I feel like someone's accusing you of something, it's gonna to go to court and your name's gonna be cleared. I think, it feels like your spouse or your partner is disappointed in you or, or something, but you're out to clear, clear your name and you're being tested to see if you can maturely and uh, logically and level-headed without getting all emotional um, but there's a lot of passion here there's a lot of emotion behind all of this spirit what is this five of wands about what is this five of wands about it's like there's some kind of um conflict happening with a group of people in a partnership yeah it's like this could be a work situation or, yeah, I'm being very vague, but there may be several different scenarios coming out here. Um, it feels like you're gonna be going at it alone. Um, perhaps. But you have, it feels like you have a lot of support around you in terms of family and friends. Tell me more about this Five of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, this Nine of Pentacles spirit. Yeah, it just feels like there's competition around you trying to test you. And um, you're, you're really just being tested to, you're, you may be disappointed about it as well. There's some disappointment here. Um, I'm not gonna get too much further into this because I feel like there's several different stories going on. This could be in regards to a relationship. This could be in, in relationship to a job or a partnership of some kind. Um, this tower moment is going to happen for you, perhaps, um, and it's just going to test your ability to keep a level head, is what I'm gathering here. But you're very passionate about clearing your name or making resolution here. Um, what I'm going to do is pull a couple of final oracle cards to give you some insight as you move forward through the situation. Don't mean to bring the energy down. You're supposed to be enjoying time with family and this time with, you know, celebration. So don't get too caught up in what's going to happen because it's going to clear your name. There's nothing to worry about here is what I'm sensing. Uh, just keep your head up and know that, that things will resolve in your favor. As long as you're doing right by everyone, just be honest with yourself and with others, and then you have nothing to worry about. Okay, so what I'm going to do, like I said, is pull a couple of final cards. Not sure which oracle deck I'm feeling called to, the Moonology. All right, let's do this Moonology oracle deck to finish this off with a couple of messages from the universe spirit. What messages of encouragement do you have for our Aquarius, July 2020, during this situation they're going through? What messages of advice do you have for our Aquarius? Light and love moving forward that they can handle challenges. Ah, oh, we got three here. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Okay. Adjustments are required. 
you may be handling things too passionately to you get too upset and just keep a level head is what I'm getting here. Adjustments are required. A time to give than, rather than to take. You're being called to give to your community. That community card came out. Um, just keep, rise above whatever it is that's coming. Keep that level head. And it's time for you to understand that there might be all this competition and, and noise happening around you, but um, give, give, what am I trying to say here? <laughs> give logical and calm responses to whatever is coming your way here, okay? That is the best way to handle it. Don't get upset. Don't get all fiery and upset. Because, yeah, nothing, nothing will come of this situation, okay? I love it to end it on this card because there's nothing really for you to worry about here, Aquarius, okay? There's some drama that may be happening, but there's nothing there's nothing that's going to come of it, okay? All right, that was awesome. Thanks, Aquarius, for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.